soon as the transducer settles, you should immediately notice the water depth in the upper left hand corner of the LCD. If the depth does not appear, make sure you're using the unit between depths of 1.5 and 99.9 .9 feet. Also make sure the transducer plug is properly attached. Use the trick I showed you earlier to make sure the plug is properly seated and verify proper connection by listening for the ticking sound. When the fish are detected below the transducer, you notice the fish icons moving across the screen from right to left. This movement only indicates the presence of fish and in no way depicts the actual directional movement of the fish. If steady icons are present, like we have here, you can assume that there's either one fish stationary below the transducer or a school of fish are moving around within the sonar beam. On the right hand side, there is a vertical grid of 10 boxes. When a fish is detected, the box specifying the depth will turn black. If you divide the box number by the depth displayed at the top left corner, you can determine the depth of the fish. For example, if you're fishing in 10 feet of water and the third box down turns black, the fish is 3 feet deep. At 50 feet, the third box would indicate the fish is at 15 feet and so on. The virtue view display on your fish finder depicts bottom structure with a series of rock indicators. No rock indicators identify a structureless bottom. This depicts a bottom that is most likely sandy or muddy with no debris or contour. A good habitat for some fish, but not very desirable for ambush feeders. One rock indicator identifies limited structure. You would most likely find a small rock, a small pile of rocks, or uneven bottom contour. This is not a bad place for hiding fish, but due to the limited amount of structure, there may not be a lot. Two rock indicators identifies a considerable amount of bottom structure, but scattered. A considerable amount of time needs to be spent fishing this area as each piece of structure could be hiding a prize catch. Three rock indicators indicates a large amount of bottom structure in a confined area. This bottom may consist of rocks, stumps, trees, or a ledge. The weed ID feature incorporated into the fish finder depicts the amount of weed at the bottom of the water body. The display indicates the presence of short weeds by turning on the smallest weed ID indicator. Moderately tall weeds are depicted by turning on the second weed ID indicator. Tall weeds are depicted by turning on the third weed ID indicator. If the prey that you are targeting prefers a weed habitat, you should try to fish your bait as close to the top of the weeds as possible. Installing a weed guard on your hook will prevent accidental snagging of the weed.